Okay, so I like I said on these video clips that I like to talk about what's around for me this week. So and what's been around for me this week. Been loads of things to be honest, lots of lessons, but I'm back to our old friend uh, responsibility because I see it in my work all the time, you know, as human beings, we're really bad at taking responsibility. And until we do take responsibility, things are not going to change. Um, so for me, probably the biggest thing that's been around so far this week is that, um, <laughs> being honest here, I made a mistake. Um, I had good intent, but I made a mistake. I uh, got things wrong. Um, so I, end, I found myself in a situation that um, I was going to say I had to apologise, but I wanted to apologise because I'd upset a couple of people, which I definitely didn't mean to do. Um, and I've always believed that if I get something wrong, I have the guts to say sorry. You know, that's why I've called this little clip, sorry seems to be the hardest word, because a lot of people struggle to say that word, sorry. Um, so for me, it's about putting my hand up, taking responsibility and saying, do you know what, I got that wrong um, and I apologise. Um, but also, I remember watching a video clip a few, it's a few years ago now, by a guy called, if you get a chance, watch this, it's on YouTube, I think there's a 10 or 12 minute version, it's called The Last Lecture, The Last Lecture, it's on the Opera Winfrey show by a guy called Randy Paunch, um, the guy's dying of cancer and he gives this lecture, and it's brilliant, it's quite a powerful lecture actually, especially when you think the, di the guy died not long after it, but on that he talks about making an apology, and he says an apology sh uh, should have two parts. And for me, the two parts are that, you know, actually taking responsibility in the first place, stepping up and giving a sincere apology. It's got to be sincere. It's got to be meant. And the second part is, you know, making an effort to make sure it doesn't happen again. When I was a kid, I was brought up as a Catholic. Uh, and once a month, um, I had to go to confession. And as a kid, I never knew, I could never get my head around confession. I thought, I used to think, why am I here? I could be playing football. I could be out with my mates doing something better. You know, I didn't really understand what it was all about. Um, but then I went through a, a stage where I actually quite liked it. Because this, in a kid's head, what I realised was that I could pretty much do anything that I want. This is how I was thinking. Go to confession at the end of the month and just say sorry to the priest um, who would forgive me. So... What a great get out clause. I could do whatever I wanted to just say sorry at the end of the month and everything was okay. But obviously as an adult, I've realised now that, you know, if I keep making the same mistake over and over and saying sorry, it's not going to take very long till people realise that that sorry doesn't mean anything. So the second part of apologising for me is to say, is to actually do something about it. So for me, the mistake I made this week, the bit that I can do about it is to make sure that that doesn't happen again or do my best to make sure that that doesn't happen again. Then for me, it's a sincere apology. So, you know, take responsibility. Um, say sorry if it's needed. Um, two parts of the sorry thing. Make it sincere. If you apologise, make it sincere. And secondly, do your best to make sure... Uh, to put it right, to make sure that then that never happens again, um, and that's you know that's been around for me this week. A lot of this stuff that I talk about is not new, but sometimes you know we all make mistakes, and you know I don't mind sharing my mistakes in the hope that it helps other people as well. So enjoy the rest of your day, and hopefully speak to you soon.